Volkswagen bought Bugatti and they said we're going to make a supercar that'll have a thousand horsepower. Now there were a few problems with that. They hadn't got an engine that could do anything like a thousand horsepower. So they built one with 16 cylinders, put a couple of turbos on it, not enough, so they put four turbos on it, but it kept melting, so they stopped it melting, and then they found that nobody in the world makes tyres capable of transferring a 1,000 horsepower onto the road. Had a couple of accidents, because they can't find a test track big enough. Two more things they've got to work out. The steering and the brakes. <laughs> I'm not driving a car that's got a thousand horsepower and brakes that have been fixed at the last minute. <laughs> that's 140 grand for a watch commemorating a car that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> and never will exist. And while he was doing that, I went to get my car. The new Bugatti Veyron. It's the fastest, most powerful and most expensive road car the world has ever seen.